Guten Tag. We touched on the idea of logical masks very briefly in a past video, but now we'll explore the concept more fully. A logical mask is an array the size of an original array that holds true or false values based on a conditional applied to the original array. In this example, we see the original 3x3 matrix A holding a variety of values. Then, a conditional statement, A greater than 4, is applied across the entire matrix. This creates a logical mask. Here I named it Big Mask. In the top left corner, is 8 greater than 4? Yes, it is, so a true 1 is filled in to the same index in the mask. In the next slot down, is 3 greater than 4? No, it's not, so a false 0 is filled in for that corresponding index. This evaluation is repeated for all indices in the matrix. So, now what can we do with that mask? First, let's see how it can be used to extract specific values from an array. On the left side are the same commands and results we've already seen. With that, I then enter this command to produce this result. It is a vector, or a list, of all the big values from matrix A. What do I mean by big? That is established by the conditional, any number larger than 4. This extraction is done through array indexing. The true values in the mask indicate that the corresponding number from A should be extracted. The false values indicate an index that should be ignored. Another way we can use the mask is shown here. Rather than ignoring the smaller values, I will convert them to zeros and maintain the original size of matrix A. The first method to accomplish this is arithmetic. Multiply the original matrix and the mask. Don't forget the dot. All the small numbers are multiplied by zero and so appear as a zero in the output matrix. All the larger numbers are multiplied by 1, and so stay the same. We can also accomplish this through array indexing. First, I copy the original matrix into the output matrix. Then, I directly assign all the small values to now be 0. How should we interpret this command? First, go into matrix A bigs. Then, where we see a false in the mask, changes will occur. Why at false? Because of the tilde, which performs the not operation, or in other words, converts all of those falses into trues. So we have identified which indices to change. What change occurs? Assign a value of zero. Meanwhile, all of the unselected indices, i.e. the large numbers, are unchanged. What if we desire the opposite output? In other words, what if we want the small numbers to remain and the big numbers to be set to zero? To do that, we just need to complement the logic using the NOT operator. This works for the multiply method, where all the mask falses are converted to ones before multiplying. This also works for the array indexing method. Here we remove the tilde that was present before. Now this command can be read as go into a smalls. Wherever we see a true in the mask, reassign that index to have a value of zero. So, all the big numbers turn into zeros. We could save some coding time by combining steps. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, then by all means stick with the approaches shown on the previous slides. But I've found that some people actually understand logical masks better with the steps lumped together. Here we see two ways of creating the list of big values. On the left is the way we already explored. On the right is the shortcut with two commands combined into one. This command can be read as extract the values of A where A is greater than 4. And here is the other main example discussed. With the single command, a mask is created just like before, but now it is not stored as a separate variable. It is merely an intermediate step that is lost to memory once it is used. Using logical masks effectively can simplify and speed up your programs. In the next video, we'll see a couple examples of applying them.